Kafka. Quick pass. Simmons. He's got the first down. Across the 50 and tackled there for the Wildcats. They love to move the ball quick. Told us they're trying to get from the, the ball to the to the new play. Is that a touchdown? Drake Dunsmore diving in. He's close. You gotta get the one yard line. On first down. First and goal to give us to Simmons to the right side. He's close and he's in. Stephen Simmons grinds out the touchdown and the Wildcats are on top. Check that first and 18 from the 49-yard line. Schmidt, that pass is caught by Trey Hunter, but he's tackled in the backfield for a loss. Second and 14 for the Wildcats. Tackle dumps it out for RB Fields. He's got room. He's got a hole to the 50. Across midfield, brought down at the 48-yard line of Eastern Michigan. On fourth and one. In motion goes Woodson. Kafka forces his way. He's got the first down. Stefan Simmons back in the game. Kafka going to throw again. And he's got Zeke Markshausen across the 30 to the 20-yard line and out of bounds. That's a big thing to keep your eye on with him being such a running quarterback. Andre Hatchett putting the heat on Kafka, knocking him down. This time it's Stephen Simmons inside the 15-yard line. A lot of different things, but essentially that's just a five-yard handoff. On second down, Simmons has a hole. Nice move, touchdown! Stephen Simmons, a great move at the three-yard line and a 14-yard touchdown run. And Northwestern is on top by two scores. On third and nine from the 43, need to get to the 48-yard line of the Cats. This pass is for Ja'Cory Stone, trying to find some space, looking for a hole, can't get it. Gain of three on the play, and that'll bring out the punting unit. Last week, carried the ball 19 yards, 19 times from 85 yards. That one's picked off. He's going all the way. Ben Johnson, he's got room. He's got a blocker to the 30, the 20, the 10. He's got a touchdown. A pick six, Ben Johnson. 71 yard interception return for the TD. A pair of touchdowns on the ground also. Doing it in the air, 15 yards receiving for Stephen Simmons. Here's Corey Welsh again, and he's tackled by Nate Williams. On third and three, they need to get the ball just past the 49, and that is a great play by Brad Phillips. On third and long, Schmidt under center. Dwayne Priest in the backfield. Schmidt with time, now he's forced, and he's brought down. Corey Wooten and Marshall Thomas are there to bring him down for the sack. 513 yards a game, unbelievable. Kafka forced out, he's gonna run with it. First big run for Kafka this year, and finally he's brought down at the 38-yard line. Showing the moves, a 13-yard run for Mike Kafka. Third and three, Kafka looking left, throwing, that's caught. It's Jeremy Ebert, his first catch of the day. And a first down for Northwestern, a pickup of eight. Ball at the 18-yard line. Need to get just inside the eight. Persa on the option, gives to Jacob Schmidt to the 15 inside the 10 and brought out, tackled out of bounds. Kick is up, and it is good. So the lead is back to 14. Cats on top this entire game. Now it looks as though they're going to head to the pass again. Kapka throwing wide open is Drake Dunsmore across the 30 and tackled at the 27-yard line. So here we are, first and 10 for the Wildcats. I don't think they're going to be running the ball a lot right now. This pass is complete to Demetrius Fields. But it does let you know what he's made of. On second and four, Kapka. Force out of the pocket, has some Marshall room, Housen. but he finds his man, it's Markshausen. Across midfield, and down at the 36-yard line. But the way their offensive line is played, they have a lot of trust in them right now. Rooks in motion again, the give is to Schmidt, barreling his way for the first down. 
to the 25-yard line. Big, real big play there. Four-yard gain and a first down as the clock ticks down with a minute 17 remaining here in the fourth quarter. I'd look for them to try to hit some seams against this defense. Empty backfield, quick pass to Brewer. And he's brought down at the 42-yard line. 24 all. 37 seconds remaining. Fourth quarter, empty backfield for Mike Kafka as he's trying to lead a fourth quarter game-winning drive. Kafka, plenty of time, throwing across the middle. It's Brewer again to the 32-yard line. A 10-yard pickup for Brewer as Northwestern getting close to field goal range. So here it is, a 50-yard attempt. The snap, good hold, kick is up, and it is good! He nailed it! With six seconds remaining, the Cats have taken a three-point lead. Right down the middle, Stefan Demos. The pressure was on, and he's a big-time player. Yeah, that young man should be proud of himself. He was the story of today after a little bit of a seesaw. Eastern struggled early, came on strong. Northwestern led up. This guy finished it off. Stefan Demos. The sigh of relief for him. A clutch kick, a 50-yard field goal with six seconds remaining. Schmidt, he's got four wide receivers. Just three, a three-man rush for Northwestern. Schmidt steps up and he'll heave one. And that one is intercepted. Brian Peters with the pick, and that will do it. Wow. The Wildcats dodge a bullet, and they have defeated the Eastern Michigan Eagles by a score of 27 to 14. From Ryan Field in Evanston, Illinois, the final score, it was the Northwestern Wildcats 27, the Eastern Michigan Eagles 24. For Mark Campbell and Brittany Payton, I'm Matt Rosen. This has been a presentation of the Big Ten Network. Once again, our final, the Wildcats win by three. Peace.